Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy, Filosco here. You know that American dude with the incredible mood? That's me. And today we're going to have a quick and very useful lesson on one of the most used words in the English language. This word has, arguably, the most definitions of any other word in the English language. And what word is this? Well, this word is run. R-U-N, run. Now, there is no way there is no way I'm going to stand here and give you guys all the definitions to this word. There's more than a hundred of them. I can't do it. But first what I will do, which is something I did some years ago, I'm going to test your knowledge on this word run and see if you can rewrite this sentence without using the word run at all. So here's the sentence. I was on the run, running a run that runs tomorrow. I've done this a while ago, but I'm gonna do it again because not everyone saw it. I was on the run, running a run that runs tomorrow. Now, when you look at this, you might think, oh, this sentence makes no sense. Nobody would say it like that. Well, it's true, sure. No one would say it like this, but this sentence actually makes perfect sense in more than one way. Can you re-say this in a way without using the word run? Basically, re-saying the same thing just without the word run or running or runs. Can you do that? Do you even understand the numerous ways or even just one way the sentence could be understood? And if you have an English teacher, you should test them. You should show them this and see if they can get a proper answer. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly explain it. If you want to try to guess it yourself, first you should probably pause the video right now. But if not, I'm going to go for it. So let's start from the beginning. At the beginning it says, I was on the run. What can it mean when you're on the run? Well, that itself has numerous meanings. But right now, I will give you two. When someone is on the run, it means either they are very, very busy, busy trying to do something important, or it means they are hiding from the police or trying to stay away from the police because they did something bad. That's on the run. But for this sentence to make a lot of sense, it's best to use the definition, I was really busy or I am really busy. So I was on the run, in this case, basically means I was very busy. Busy, okay? Next one, running a run. So first we gotta find out what the verb running basically means in this case. Cause I was running a run. I was doing something to this noun. So what can it mean if I'm doing something to this noun? I was running a run. In this case, if you are running a noun, you are most likely the person controlling it. You are in charge. You're the director or you're the manager. You are the one in charge of it. You are making these things happen. So that's what it means by running in this case. You're controlling it. So right now, I'm running this video. I'm running what to say. I'm gonna edit it. I run the editing. I control all of that. So that's running. Next one is a run, a noun. How many nouns can be called a run? Well, there's not that many, but I'll give you two that you can slide here, and either one of them can work. It could be a marathon. You know, a marathon, that's where people go out running for a very long distance. Or it can be like a rehearsal for a performance, or the actual performance itself can be a run. Or even when something's shown on TV, like a TV show, it can be called a run. Because when it's shown again, it's called a rerun. So for this, we're just gonna say marathon. We're gonna keep marathon for this one, okay? So what do we have so far? I was busy managing or operating a show or marathon. And what could the last part mean? This should be the easiest one. That runs tomorrow. That means it happens tomorrow or is going to broadcast tomorrow. Basically tomorrow it's happening. It's going to be shown to the public or the public will know about it or will be performed tomorrow. So how can you basically say this? Well, sorry, I was busy managing a marathon that's happening tomorrow. That's another way to say it. Or you can say, I was busy managing a rehearsal for a play that shows tomorrow. I was busy managing a rehearsal for a play that's performed tomorrow. Anything like that. So there's numerous ways to say, I was on the run running a run that runs tomorrow. You just have to have a basic understanding of the word run, or actually not basic, a little complex. 
So that's basically it guys, that's all for today. I know I made this video a while ago, but not everyone has seen all of my videos. Definitely show this to your English teacher and see if they can figure this one out. If they can, that's really, really cool. And I'm out people, my arm gets really tired making these selfie videos. You have no idea how, how tired my arm is, like Jesus Christ. Later. Five minutes ago. Edit it, I run the editing, I control all of that. Holy shit. Oh, my arm. God, they don't know how much my arm hurts whenever I'm filming this shit.